Nice to have you with us. Philip Paley's compendium on karate, and this is what he has to say. I, Philip Paley, am the Pee Wee Pro Amateur Karate Champion of the United States. It all started when I was five years old. My mother and I were shopping and I saw the sign of a karate school. I begged her to let me take lessons and she said yes. Now I can break boards with my hand or with my foot. I can toss a 200 pound man to the ground and in all I have won 14 karate tournaments, a record for my age. I hold another record. At the age of nine, I became the youngest person in the United States ever to qualify for the coveted black belt. Signed, Philip Paley. Go on spring break without leaving your living room. So pack your bags, get luggage with your favorite snacks. A big deck of cards. Extra cash. Two thousand dollars. And your family's tagging along too. And I am the professor of family feud. College spring break week starts April 10th on Buzzer. Relax the beach. Bam! Let's play. Have a lava. Feel like a million bucks without paying the price. Seize the deals on top names before they're gone. Get in to never miss out. Shoprelawlaw.com today. Al, did you make that call? Area with additional benefits. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now for your free 2023 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800 671 9330. Now we have three young men patiently standing up behind the desk over there. They're all claim to be Philip Paley, the youngest person in America ever to qualify for a black belt in karate. And Kitty Carlisle, we'll start with you, please. Oh, I'm so impressed. Number three, how long did it take you to get this fantastic uh, skill? To become a black belt, it took me about four and a half years. And number two, how many days a week did you practice? Three days a week. Three days. Uh, number one, can you really uh, throw that first gentleman that we saw? Yes, I can. And uh, number three, uh, who do you practice against? People your own age? People that are older than me. Really? By about two years. Oh. And it about to take us down to Jean, please. Yes, number two. Now, in addition to that 170-pound man who was out here, can you throw anyone else who weighs about that much or 200 pounds? Yes. Can you name one? No. Okay. <laughs> Number three, uh, where were some of the, name some of the places where the tournaments are held. Well, the main was, one was at the Miami Beach Auditorium. Is that where you won the, uh, the black belt? Well, that's where I, yeah. Yeah. All right. Number one, work. And that takes us on to Peggy Cat. Thank you. Number two, is the black belt the top award, the best you can do? Yes. Oh. Uh, now, number one, do you have to yell a lot? Like, I always see them yelling a lot before karate. Is that part of the act, to yell? Yes, it is. Now, number two, is karate like kung fu? Well, uh, no. No? No. They yell a lot in that. Well, it's really not the yelling. It's, it's um, well, it's kind of like judo and karate put together. It's kind of it comes out in like kung fu. Thank you. And number two, when did you start karate? Number two, Blondie. Um, <laughs> um, I started karate when I was five years old. Gee. And that takes us on to Bill Cullen. Number one, since you became a black belt karate expert and you can throw people 175 pounds and up and so, have you been getting better marks in school? Uh, my marks are, you know, mostly the same. 
do the teachers treat you the way they've always treated you, number one, or are they a little nicer to you? They, they treat me the same. Uh, <laughs> number two, you mentioned something about the yelling. You mentioned it was just the yelling. How important, how, how important is the yelling in black belt karate? Well, the yelling is uh, to uh, scare off your opponent, and it's uh, to tighten up your stomach when uh, you, uh, you're going to get a blow. Is that true, number three, that you yell so he runs? <laughs> oh, yeah. We just got a little bell. Our man didn't yell. He just rang the little bell, and that cuts you off just as effectively. It's time for you to uh, vote now, panel, if you will. And who do we like over here best? Not who do we like, but who do we think is the real Philip? Is it number one? Or is it number two? Or is it number three? To help an animal who's suffering this winter, please go online, call, or scan now. Out of the goodness of our hearts, we paid them $50 for each wrong goal. We paid them $500 if the team for the panel goes down to defeat. And Kitty starts. Well, I'd take any one of the three, not only to defend me, but to go home with me. But I have to vote for one of them, so I'm going to vote for number three. All right, we got a three, Sean, going down Gene Rayburn. Listen, if it's number two, hmm, yes, if he's the one, I'll eat this card on camera. <laughs> uh, he's, he's pretty knowledgeable. He, he said a lot of good stuff there, but it's really number three. Look at the blood in his cheeks. He's had a lot of exercise there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a pair of threes and Peggy. You promised. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, everybody says that exercise makes you look a lot younger. He doesn't look, number two doesn't look old enough to be nine, but he's at that karate day and night, so that's why he looks so young. Besides, the cutest thing I ever saw in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got a two show on there. Bill Cullen, how are you going to go? Well, they're good. They all had me fooled. But number one said his marks hadn't improved as a result of his newfound prowess, and that sounds like an honest man. I figure he's an honest man, so I voted, and a karate man, so I voted for him. All right, they're all over the place. Number three has got two votes. The votes are in. Now, ordinarily, I would say, will the real fella please stand up? But they're already standing up so that you can see them. So I will say, at this point, will the real Philip Paley please sit down? <laughs> So if you'll go out center stage uh, and get ready, you don't have to do much to get ready. Let's find out who your excellent friends are. Number one, what is your real name, please, and what do you do? My name is Mike Tracy, and I'm in sixth grade at St. Norbert School in Paley, Pennsylvania. Good to have you. And number three, tell us about you. My name is Jeffrey Hunt. I'm a fourth grade student at Buckley, and I come from New York City. Good to have you. Well, I see that Philip and Chuck are ready, so let's take a look at what a nine-year-old, 42-pound lad can do to a 170-pound strong man. Go do it, fellas. Take care of yourself, Chuck. I'm trying to. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Philip and the two imposters, 
You were all great, but the nicest thing I can say about you after having known you briefly is all three of you got marvelous manners. Keep it up. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Jerry. Good luck. We all have heroes in our lives. Someone who cares about other people and gives of themselves. To help others who can't always help themselves. Those are true heroes. And for a kid... Tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomorrow, on behalf of the Focati Rug, saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. bye.